All right, guys, it's the morning of April 3rd, and we're going back after another turkey out here on Nick's deer lease. Jake shot a bird last night. We were all out there, and we heard tons of turkeys gobbling there during the afternoon, and his bird was coming in. After he got his killed, we, me and Nick ran up on the hill where the other turkeys went, and we could hear several of them gobbling down just off the property line. So it's about 6 o'clock right now and we're loading up the trucks and we're gonna head back in there and see how close we can get to this thing. We're gonna have some good weather here to start off the morning and then it's gonna get up to like 96 degrees. So we'll probably plan to hunt until about 10 or so in the morning and then we're gonna come back here, edit some videos and then head back over to the public and try our hand out there for the next couple days. So we got this hillside out here, it's pretty open. I think we can kill him in the, on that hillside. Just get up there and see where he's at when he gobbles. Hopefully it's fairly close. Seems like he's gonna be within 200 though. Yeah, and just find the spot to sit down. seating. Two had to start going away immediately. Other one sound, sounds like there's two over there and one sounds closer. That last gobbler did at least. I think that time he sounded so close, it just must have been nothing between us and he's looking this way. I think that bird's going that way. These ones over to the right got a little closer. Yeah. I don't know. We could we could get them to come over here, but they could get intercepted by a hen at first. I think we could we could cut the distance on those and probably kill them up there. You wanna try that? Those turkeys that we set up on the first started going away from us. But these turkeys that were further away are coming a little bit closer, so we're cutting the distance on them.
the fence right down there and run this road going down it. change anything else buddy all right we've been sitting in this setup for the last 35 minutes or so and there's a group of it sounds like three different turkeys right down here they're probably 150 yards away on the other property just gobbling their heads off nick dropped back over here to call about 25 minutes ago and he's he just keeps moving off that way calling but these turkeys aren't budging, so another, tur another turkey just fired off over here not too long ago. We're right here on this ridge that kind of is, it's in between both the groups of turkeys that are gobbling. But, ooh, come on. Okay, <laughs> well, it's gonna be loud. I don't know when he's gonna shoot because he's gonna say, Here I go. Here I go. Here I go. <laughs> we 
What are you doing down here? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Is that yeah. the one we thought we kill? up real big like that and I was like oh better see him right there <laughs> he come from a long way over there too oh yeah uh -huh. yeah he was a ways over I think it's those birds got him all fired up I'm trying to make it to where those turkeys wouldn't cross and come behind y'all and uh <laughs> he made a big jump from over there and I heard him gobble in a corner and I thought oh boy that might be it right there that uh -huh. might be it. I asked Ted what he wanted to marinate him in at that point <laughs> Yeah. We tell it was it was right. over. He's as good as dead. What do you want to marinate him at? <laughs> <laughs> a thousand <laughs> gobble morning. Oh, yeah. The throats are gonna hurt over there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look nice at that. Spurs. What a neat Dude. little treat that is. He actually has spurs. <laughs> oh, good spurs. Jake wasn't so fortunate. Those things aren't very sharp at all. Oh, those are dull. Things are. Is that those like a, a, a butter knife? <laughs> He trained up, I was just like, I'm on him. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, I moved, I had moved yeah. to get over to him, and he definitely saw me get Did over he? there. But I was like, I gotta get over there before he pops out in that well, open. Yeah, and then we he saw, and pretty but good. then height. he just kept, it was kind of the same deal as Jake's yesterday, where he'd kind of go like this, and then he'd come uh, back over this way. You could probably see him better than I could, what, down through here, just because I was lower than you. I oh, could yeah, see his I could head see coming him. up through there, but and then I could see him strut the one time, but it was pretty obstructed. I could, yeah, I could just barely see parts of him as he was strutting over there. What a morning. That was just a matter of being patient, just sitting yeah. there, because we were right in the middle of, well, we knew those turkeys were there. We didn't know this one was there. When he cut the distance, I, I put my call away. I was like, I can't call no more because he's liable to cross down there. Because that seemed like he was coming the whole time, really. He comes out like there. He was working up out of that, that canyon. canyon yeah, but he, I don't know how far he could have been that way, but he could have been a long way. A long way. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, Gotta love job. Rio's. Yeah, Thank you for the bird, Dana. It was so just like I, intense because there was so much close gobbling for so long. I had already put my call away that last gobble. I just went ahead and put it in there and zipped my pocket. I just waited like, for the gun hit, shot. Yeah, put it in my pocket and, it was, and hit record. I was like, I'm going to get this shot on video. <laughs> like, 10 seconds later, pow. <laughs> <laughs> I just hopped up and took off running. <laughs> it's funny when you're sitting there like that and all that gobbling going on. And eventually we were just like, all right, sit up. You know, they're not getting any closer. You just sit there and start talking, whatever. And then this one started gobbling. It's kind of just relaxed, and then all of a sudden it's like, boom, he's right here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, time to turn it back up a notch. Because <laughs> you let yourself get complacent with those real yeah. close when they're not coming. You're like, yeah, we can do it ever. Yeah, yeah, and then he just gobbles, and it's, it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> right there. I was like, mm, I don't know. Oh, that is <laughs> awesome. <laughs> right down the barrel. Oh, yeah. yeah. That is awesome. <laughs> look, look what I did. <laughs> And it's pretty limited mm -hmm. so just toting one of those chairs around is not a bad idea because it's not that heavy and then anytime you sit down you're going to be comfortable and you're going to be hid because you can jump back in them cedars like that I mean, they'll never see you there maybe we'll have to figure out something for the mobile modular a little kickstand that would be nice and that little attachment uh -huh. that comes out put your kickstand up buddy we're gonna yeah, say a lot <laughs> mm -hmm. what a deal another shed and a gobbler Yep. Boys, we got some editing work to do. Yeah. Yep. Good day for it. That was going to be 97. Yep. I guess we should ease out of here so we can go eat and get to work. And get some pictures taken of you for your slideshow one day. Yep. Oh, <laughs> well, your wedding, hopefully. So we made it back to the public ground. We're gonna head back in here to where turkeys have been roosted two of the three times, or, or just the two times that we've been in here. There's been two gobblers roosted right in the same spot. It didn't sound like it was the howls were going down through there too far with the cedars, or mine wasn't at least. No. It's like I'm not 100% positive because it's so windy. And we howled, and I thought I heard one back that way. I'm not positive of anything other than it's hot. <laughs> That's for sure. And it's windy. I don't know. This thing is gone, though. Did you 
you notice that already? <laughs> well, I got some intel from a guy. Well, first of all, he asked if I had a reservation here, and I said, well, I'm with my buddies. I think they have multi-day reservation. They're out scouting for turkeys right now. It's like, we just slept somewhere else last night because we were a ways away, and I think, anyways, he's like, yeah, we had a strong wind come up last night, and uh, one of the tents blew off from this spot. <laughs> I'd say so. Or we can go to Walmart or something right now and go get you one. Exactly, I'm gonna sleep yet. That'll be the next thing on the agenda to figure that out. That's all that was in there. It's my sleeping pad. I had some clothes in there. Cute clothing item. I can't believe that. After all, I our can't tents either. stood up to in Kansas. I know. I mean, it was Greg literally was blowing so hard in Kansas when I was sleeping. Was like, my tent was laying sideways on top of me, like sandwiched <laughs> on me. Like, I mean, this was bent all the way over. Yeah. And Ted's did just fine then. I don't even. I can't yeah. imagine it got that much worse here. I staked mine down and then I came over and I staked Nick's down. And then Nick's is the one that stays strong. Let's see if there's stakes over here. There's one. There's another stake right there. Pulled the stakes on me. That one must have got flung. Hey, from the highest of mountain peaks to now back down. But do you know what that means? Now we start climbing back up. Straight back up. <laughs> it's all about that ride, baby. That's right. Tomorrow's gonna be a good day, probably. You wanna go first? It's your video. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, we came over, we came back over to the public this afternoon, and me, Jake, and Nick went out and tried to roost birds tonight, but we didn't have any luck with that. It's gotten As super you can probably windy. Hear, yeah, it's, and obviously his tent blew away, so it's really windy. Yeah. So, but we didn't have any luck doing that this afternoon. We got out, did see a couple different trucks out and about. Guys still hunting, it's Monday today, so we weren't sure if we'd see more people out during the work week or not, but sure enough, there was a couple guys out there where- And because of the vehicles, we weren't able to get back into where we wanted to listen to. We, I don't know if a turkey was down in where we, I guess, hoped to roost one, if we would have even heard it where we were at. We were up on a hilltop, it was real windy up there, but the plan is in the morning just to start right, you know, where we heard, I don't know, six or seven gobblers the other day and just assume that one of them is going to be in there. It's close to the road. We're probably going to have people driving right past, but if we can call something in quick, it might happen that way. Or those birds just all kind of drifted away from the road, the ones that didn't get shot at the other day. So yeah. after they get down, we're just going to plan on looping around mm -hmm. and getting in there deeper, I guess. Yeah, we got two more days. So we got tomorrow and then the following day, which is Wednesday, to hunt, and then we're out of here. So we'll see how it goes these next two days. See how it goes sleeping in the truck. Yep. In the I back got, seat. I'm tentless, so I'm <laughs> I'm in the back seat of Warb's truck tonight and tomorrow night. Which actually I don't have a problem with at all. It might even be more comfortable than my tent. <laughs> anyway, so thanks guys for watching. We'll see y'all in the next one.